you want to make a custom menu inside of Minecraft. The main question is, what plugin are you gonna use? Because nowadays, there are so many custom menu plugins out there, it can be hard to make a decision. But maybe this video will help. Because today's plugin, Cmenu, takes somewhat of a different approach to the custom menu creation. With an online Minecraft inventory builder, that can quickly create an incredible menu for you, that you can then automatically load into your server. And you can even download some pre-made menus from this website. That, together with support for the mini message format, support for folia servers, the ability to create patterns and multiple pages per single menu, this plugin for sure stands out. Now Zmenu can be downloaded for free from Spigot MC. Of course, I will have a link to this page in the description down below. Now, good to mention is that Zmenu does have a premium add-on that will add some additional features, but for most, the free version is gonna be sufficient. Now, along with Zmenu, you also want to install Placeholder API. This is not mandatory, it is not a dependency, but Zmenu does rely on it, and if you don't use Placeholder API, a lot of the placeholders will simply not show up. Then, drag both into the plugins folder of your Minecraft server Server and give it a quick little restart. After that, when you join your server again, you will know that the plugin is successfully installed when you can type slash zm and a bunch of commands show up. Now, when you use the command slash zm open, you will immediately get some basic menus that the plugin comes with. Now, these function as examples to show what the plugin is capable of. So when we open the basic menu, this is what it will look like. It is a simple inventory with three items inside, and if you hover over them, they have some text. There is no interaction when you click on the thing, they are just there and they exist. Let's open the advanced inventory next. First of all, it has two pages, which is pretty cool. Second, the iron you see over here, that is an example of a pattern. And a pattern is something that you can make, kind of like a preset or a template that you can later on apply to every single menu you want. And then over here in the middle, we got a compass. And when we hover over it, you will see that this compass is going to open the basic menu. There we go. So menus can be linked to each other and you can open one through another. Now the last example before we're going to get started is the example punish. So this menu functions as a band duration selector. And right now it might look kind of weird. You see some placeholders that are not loading, but the reason for that is that we have to use this menu with a command. So when we do slash punish, after that a username, for example, Casasora, and then we give a reason, like cheat, then now we can select a ban duration. Which means if I choose this one, I will be banned for three days for the reason cheating. Now that is really cool. It's all made with the 100% free Zmenu plugin. So now that you know how Zmenu works and what it can do, let's make a menu of our own. And the easiest way to do this is through the Minecraft Inventory Builder website. This website was made by the same developer that also made Zmenu. And over here, you first simply want to log in or create an account. After that, you want to click on Inventory Builder. Then we're first going to make a new folder. For example, subscribe. Because it would be incredible if you did. And then inside of the subscribe folder, we are going to create a new inventory. So first, you want to give your inventory a name. This can be anything. I'm going to do subscribe just to keep it consistent. Now the name, that is what actually will appear inside of the inventory itself. I'm creative, then you want to give it a size. So do you only want a single inventory row? Do you want two? Or do you just want a fill menu? That's completely up to you. I'm gonna go for size 27. Then you want to define an update interval. So it allows you to define the time in seconds for the refresh of the buttons in the inventory. Now you might wonder, what is a button? Well, as soon as you place an item inside of this inventory, the plugin will refer to it as a button. And you can of course add a bunch of functionalities to those buttons. For some of those functionalities, you might need an update interval. For example, certain placeholders, like a placeholder for online players. Because it is an amount that can change, here they want to know how often it should refresh. I'm gonna set it to 10. And then the last option is clear inventory. So this allows you to delete the player's inventory on opening and restoring it on closing. This allows, for example, the use of an image on your inventory with 
without being hindered by the player's items. Now, I think it is really cool they got an option like this, and I'm definitely gonna tick this box. Then we're gonna click on create, and there we go. Your first menu has been created. Of course, there's nothing in the menu yet. That's what we're gonna do now. But one thing you already see here is the visibility, and currently it is on private. Essentially, it means that right now, I am the only one who can access this menu. Meaning after I'm done editing it, I can export it to my game, but nobody else can actually see it. If I would set it to public though, it would appear on the inventory marketplace. And this is a place where anyone can post their menus. So these are all menus made by people using this plugin and they've then made it public for others to see and use. Like you can see, there are pages upon pages of presets that you can use and some are actually really cool. Now with these buttons here on the right, you can easily download the menu, copy the menu's URL, or copy the commands to upload the inventory to your server. I think having a built-in marketplace like this is really, really cool. And if you click on copy link, then in-game, you can simply do slash Z menu download. And after that, paste in the link, and then that inventory will be downloaded. Let's continue making our own menu. When you click on the edit button here on the right, it will open the Minecraft inventory builder. So this is what the inventory currently looks like. And here on the left, we got a big list with items. We can simply grab one of these items and drag them inside of the inventory just like that. And bam, a diamond has been added. Now the diamond doesn't have any name yet. The display name we can specify over here. So we could, for example, make it get a diamond. Now when you hover it, you will see that is what it's called. Of course, you can use color codes. I'm just gonna make it a simple gold though. Now we can also give it a lore. So basically all the text that will appear besides the name. So I'm gonna write a uh, click here to get a diamond and don't forget to subscribe to Kasai Sora on YouTube. <laughs> there we go. Looking great. Now over here we can change the item amount like you can see. We can decide if it should glow or not and you can also add a custom model ID if you are using a custom model. Other than that you can change the slot and you can change the name and the name is actually going to be important because we can't do everything from the Minecraft inventory builder. The basics can be laid out here but we certainly want to add more actions to these buttons and that we will have to do in the config but this will generate a very easy config for us that we can then work with so i'm gonna call this one a diamond then you can take some general configuration settings if you want for example close inventory so when you tick this one the inventory will close as soon as you click on this button then you will be able to add a sound if that's something you're into now if you want to list with all the sounds that minecraft provides i will leave this page linked in the description down below. For example, block slime, block break. We can copy it and then paste it in here, just like that. Then we can set a pitch and a volume, and you can even add a message that appears in chat. For example, you just got a diamond. Now, some specific configuration options you can already add from this builder. Like, for example, if you want this button to open another inventory. Unfortunately, though, this GUI builder is still under development, and there's no way yet to add a function that will execute a Command as soon as we click on the button. So that is something we will have to add in the config in a little bit. But let's say you do want to make a button that opens an inventory, we can simply click and drag in another item. We can call it a basic menu, then the lore will be click to open the basic menu. I want this one to glow and then I'm going to set the specific configuration to inventory. Then first you want to specify the name of the plugin that houses the menu you want to open. In my case, I'm going to go for Z menu and then where it says inventory, we have to give the inventory name. Now, when we go to the Z menu folder, which was located inside of the plugins folder of our Minecraft server, you will be able to go to inventories and over there, all of these file names, those are the names of the inventories. So if we want to open the basic inventory, then this is the name we need to remember. And that is the name I will fill in here. Now after that, I can add one more item to the inventory just to make it look nice. This one is simply gonna close the inventory. There we go. Gonna call it close. It closes it. <laughs> it closes the inventory. And with that being done, I now call this inventory finished. So next, what you want to do is you want to make sure your inventory is safe. 
it will automatically save every once in a while. But if there is a way for you to click on this button, click on it. <laughs> Make sure your inventory is saved correctly. After that, you want to go back to the homepage of the website. Then you want to locate your own username in the top right and click on personal details. And over here, all the way at the top, you should see a link account option. This allows you to link your account to the Z menu plugin on your server. So we're simply going to click. We're going to copy this entire command. Then we're going to go back in game and simply paste that command. There we go. Z menu has now been connected to the inventory builder. After that in game, we can type slash Z menu inventories, which will open up this menu. And over here at the bottom, we find the subscribe folder we created on the Minecraft inventory builder website. When we click on there, over here at the top, here it is, the inventory we just created. Simply left click to download, then type slash ZM reload. And after that, we can open it up by typing slash ZM open and then subscribe. And there we go. There it is. And you'll see that it all fully works. So the Get Diamond one is not configured yet. We will do that in a little bit. But something we can test is if the inventory actually closes and if the message is being sent. And like you can see, it works perfectly fine. The same thing goes for the basic menu. And this button we were actually able to finish completely inside of the inventory builder. Because when I now click on here, there we go. The basic menu is open. So that works perfectly. And then the last one here on the right simply closes this menu. And like you can see it does all right so now that we have a base we can continue to configure this menu from the config now finding the config file is easy simply go to the z menus folder which is located inside of the plugins folder of your minecraft server then you want to go to inventories after that because we created an additional folder called subscribe we have to open the subscribe folder and here it is subscribe.yml and here you can see how the current menu is configured now of course we want to add some extra options because we want to make it so that as soon as somebody clicks on the diamond, they actually get a diamond. So a command needs to be executed as soon as somebody clicks. So how do we do that? Well, this is where the Z menu wiki comes in. Z menu has a very big wiki where you will find information about essentially anything you would want to know related to this plugin. Now, when you go to the buttons page, you will find a big list with all sorts of things you can do with a button. For example, what item it should display as, what sound it should play, what message should appear. There is an open link option. You can use permissions if that's something you're into. In other words, you can make it so that only certain groups Groups can open certain menus and if a specific player doesn't have the right permission then something else will happen and even that you can customize but the thing we are going for is commands so we want a command to execute as soon as we click on the diamond now you got two options you can either use a regular command or you can use a console command now because we want to use a gif command and a player by default most likely doesn't have access to that we're gonna use console command for this and down here, you will see how to actually configure that. And what is really nice about a wiki like this is that we can simply copy these lines and then we can paste them into our config. Now you simply want to uh, make some space doesn't matter where and paste in what we just copied just like that and then over here we can fill in the command so i want to receive a diamond as soon as i click on this button so for me it is going to be a gif command then i'm going to use the player placeholder which is percent player percent meaning this will be replaced by the name of the player that executes the command then to finish the command we just got to type diamond one and after that we're good to go simply save the content go back in game and then type slash zm reload after that we're gonna open the subscribe menu again and this time when i click on the diamond you will see that i actually receive one just like that that is so easy now the option to use commands in your buttons is of course just one of many many more options that exist so i would highly recommend just having a look at all of these and checking out which ones are interesting to you so the next thing I want to take a look at today are patterns. So what is a pattern? Well, we saw them for a bit already in the advanced inventory. In this case, the pattern consists out of one iron ingot in every single corner of this menu. But that is just an example. The pattern can consist out of much more. And after creating a pattern, you can easily apply it to any inventory you want, giving you an incredibly looking layout that you can simply copy and paste. Now, creating a pattern is easy. Inside of the Z menus folder, 
folder, there will also be a patterns folder. Inside of there, you should be able to find the patterns example.yml file. Open it up and you will see how a pattern is configured. So we got a name, a size, and then the items and what they do. So here you can see the material is iron ingots. Their name is example of pattern and these are all the slots they are located in. So if we would like to extend this pattern, we could simply copy this section, paste it in down here, and then we can first of all change the name. So I'm going to call it test. Then I'm going to change the material from iron ingots to diamond. Then the name itself in gold will be uh, testing. <laughs> and here we need to specify the slots. So just choosing random numbers. This one is going to be in slot one. This one is going to be in slot nine. This one is going to be in slot 46. And this one is going to be in slot 52. <laughs> there we go. And we're going to save the file, reload the config. And when we now open the advanced inventory again, you will see that the diamonds have been added. And this is without changing anything in the advanced inventory. We did not even touch this menu's file. We just changed the pattern. And if you want to know how to apply a pattern to a menu, uh, like like this. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you simply want to add a line to the menu called patterns. And after that, you want to specify the pattern here. This should just be the file name of the pattern and bam, you're good to go. So if we would remove this, then the whole pattern would disappear from the advanced inventory. Now, the last thing I want to take a look at today are commands. Because yes, this plugin can make commands for you. This is something I did actually showcase earlier today. If I do the slash punish command and then Casasora, and then we give a reason, I will be able to specify the band duration. Now the slash punish command, that is not a default Minecraft command. And you would be right, because this command is also added by Z menu, and you can add your own commands too. Back in the Z menus folder, there is also a folder called commands. When we go in there, you will see a folder called punish. And when we open it up, we will find the punish.yml file. And here you can see how this command is configured. So the command, that is what you actually need to execute. The permission, that is the permission that the player needs to be able to use this command. Then the inventory, that is the inventory it will open as soon as you execute the command. And here you also got the arguments, which are target and reason. So those are the two additional pieces of information you need to give inside of that command before it will even open the this inventory. In other words, you first need to specify who you want to punish and the reason why. And then you have an auto completion section where it will auto complete these reasons, but of course you can choose another reason as well. And of course for commands as well, you have a dedicated page on the Z menu wiki that explains all the different things you can do with these custom commands. It is really, really useful. Now, yes, I totally realize we've not been able to check out every single individual feature of this plugin. There are just so many and I wouldn't be able to. But hopefully now at least you know how to get started with the plugin and how to create menus of your own. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel, join my Discord. Thank you so much, channel members. And then I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye, see you later. Bye bye.